Have you ever wondered how your favourite travel app can book your train tickets within just a few minutes? Or how your weather app is able to get today's forecast with just a click? The answer is that they talk to other systems to get the data. And the way that these two systems talk to each other is through something called an API, or Application Programming Interface. To understand exactly how an API works, imagine you're at your favourite restaurant, sitting at a table with a menu full of options and trying to decide what to order. But how do you get your request of what you would like to eat to the chef? You need the waiter. Much like an API, the waiter serves as the messenger, taking your order to the chef and brings your order from the chef, your food, back. Looking at a real-world API example for obtaining environmental data, you can use the options on the user interface to select various options, data type, frequency of data, and the date range. This data is then retrieved from the data store via an API, like the waiter returning your food, so you can plot it on a graph or download it. Using this technology, we are modernising access to our data. Whether you are interested in water quality data, river flow, ecology or much more, you will be able to access our data via one of our APIs. For those familiar with writing API queries, we have a full list of our APIs along with documentation. Visit environment.data.gov.uk forward slash API portal. We also have apps available for several of our most popular data sets, enabling access without writing API queries. Visit environment.data.gov.uk forward slash app gallery. Why not go and check these out for yourself?